Okay, so processing uh, last night's vlog. I was done pretty much. I was gonna roll a joint here. I was gonna clean this kitchen because it looks like a bomb went off, but I was gonna clean the kitchen, roll this joint, go on to Instagram Live, but I decided I was parched. So I reached into this refrigerator and I pulled out a Diet Coke out of this thing. And the issue with this Diet Coke is that it's empty. It hasn't been opened. There's no hole. There's a little dent. There's no gash. But it's empty. I don't think I'm going to open it. I don't know. Never happened to me before. Crazy. It's like that one drop in it. One little drop. We've well, got to play all day, sir. You going to twist that balloon? Yeah. Twist. Yes. Yes, good man. Off. Off. Yes. Oh, yes. That'll make him remember the value. Now the value to him is dropping it, but he's got to remember the value is also to carry it. Whoa. Yes. See. Try to switch it up, that's not happening. Yeah, he's like, nah, fam. They're gonna roast those jeans today. Pants get roasted all the time, dude. Pants God. People roast everything. People are like, Teddy, clean your apartment. I clean my apartment every single day almost. Stop smoking weed because your productivity level is down. He's like, you could be more productive if you smoked weed. My comment back to that was, let me know when you're more productive to, than me as you watch something I produce. Just a tip for you. These motherfuckers been getting clapping this morning, son. Get threats. I get death threats everywhere I go. Yeah. Sneaker con death threats. Uh, you, know, you know, I'm just trying to live. I don't even know you're a shooter. <laughs> boom, boom, son. All right, roll some weed to redeem yourself. All right. If you want to, I'm not forcing you. No. To. I think they think I force you to do these things. No. I don't. I just volunteered off camera. I said no. I am going to roll. Ernie's here day. by choice. Honestly, you'd probably rather roll than have me roll. It's true. So that's gonna make more work for me later. Yeah. No. Little. <laughs> yes, you're right. But you're not supposed to steal it. Is the idea? You redeem yourself with your blunt. Did you even film you rolling it? No. Jesus Christ, Ernie. Who even knows if I really you rolled it? Yeah, this could be all a conspiracy. You could have bought this thing at the store. Look at your beard. What in the fuck? <laughs> That's what Brandy said. What are you doing? She's like, you gotta do it something. Go, why is it growing like at a straight 90 degree angle out? <laughs> That's how, hopefully it's out like this. You're though. crazy. Chicken legs. Omar, we're drawing. Back to the drawing board. Back to the drawing board with Teddy. That's gonna be the episodes. Yeah. Behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. Don't look at my sentence. Don't look at my some, like T pain. Yeah. Don't look at my sentence. Y'all leave the room. <laughs> Don't even leave the room. I got my auto tune open. You ever hear any of those stories about? No. Because he was like you know, the auto tune guy. Yeah. And his settings inside the whatever inside auto tune were his own specific settings. So when he would record, yeah. everyone had to leave the room. Like he wouldn't let anybody in. And there's some story about Kanye being in the room in one of the sessions or some shit. I don't fucking know. Sure. I may have even mangled that. Like some fucking record guy's like, that's not, that never happened. I was at a fucking dinner party with T Pain in the studio. I have a copy of his settings right here in my phone. The other day, for uh, I put ice in the G Fuel, yeah, and then the homie Tristan, he's the one who sent me the G Fuel. He posted on Twitter the other day, he posted on Twitter, he's like, You're playing yourself if you don't put four ice cubes in your G Fuel. It's like, motherfucker, and then cold lemon and lime, it's only good when it's really cold. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put ice, I'm gonna make one like a matcha today, yeah, with crushed ice. You know, cru I make you think I go crushed, huh? Yeah. Oh my loves it. Guys. Look at that's point nine. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that's good. Little shaker from bodybuilding.com when they did an interview about me back in the day. Just yeah. Like, it's like Gordon Ramsay right now, dog. Ooh, we're fizzing. 
Whew, that's a G Fuel cocktail right there, son. I never even had one. Make G Fuel art with my cup and straw combinations. No. I'm gonna order different straw combos. I'm so hot. I'm gonna go with this fucking coconut. Ooh, coconut, that's dangerous. You can have at it, because I would never drink that one. <coughs> oh. A little G Fuel for there. A little draw session, a little game session. What the fuck? Oh, this thing's crooked. Damn it. What happened? Yup, and it's still got some grains in it like I like. It's like a pina colada. Yeah, how's that? I don't think I can fuck with it. You know what, dude? It's actually better than you think. Honestly, I'm loving it. You're loving it? Mm -hmm. Alright, so we'll see how your gameplay is today. Yeah. Alright, guys, y'all. No, I know, dude, and it's like it's like making beats. Like dudes are always like, "Oh, I want to see you make a beat." It's, it's such like a long, boring process. I feel like, yeah, you know, it's like yeah, like making beats. If we did a vlog of making beats, it would be us picking a clap for fucking twenty-five minutes. Yeah. I got you. I got you. Oh my god. Hmm. I'm comfy. I'm comfy. Cozy boys. So I uh, got a little drawing done this morning already. A little warm up. Ow. Dirty Ernest, yeah. the dirtiest of the dirt, is about to find out what free for all is about in Modern Warfare. By the way, if you're tuned in Modern Warfare last night, I fucking won, bitch. I'm already I'm gonna come up. I only won one game though, but I know that's not really. Some dudes are right now like, ha! I win every game. Yeah, it's literally the same pants I'm wearing right now, mm -hmm. in a size smaller. So I don't even know. I, it was before I knew the sizing. I ordered those so long ago, and the dude just took forever to ship. Probably just the black. Yeah, just the black. The kit one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you didn't have that in the other batch? No, I didn't get the hoodie. Oh, still. Yeah. So now I have all of them. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So the uh, day is pretty much uh, coming to an end as far as vlog stuff goes. Okay, so today, uh, so there's a lot of news with shoes, I guess, today. Or not a lot, but there's a little bit. News. Ah, this fucking thing's now. Let's see, so tomorrow, I think, is the official release day of the 4.0 Ultra Boost. Um, and it is also rumored that there's going to be a restock on the Beluga 2.0 tomorrow on Adidas. I'm going to assume that's like canceled orders and whatnot, but that's the rumor. Don't know what time. Don't know any other information. All I know is Easy Mafia is saying there's a restock. So, again, they tend to be right. So I would assume there's a Beluga V2 2.0 restock. For those of you asking, no, I will not be copying because I already copped. If you watched the unboxing video, I unboxed them. I'm not gonna talk about these today because literally everybody's talking about them and we just talked about a Yeezy yesterday and this is just a different color. But I will give you my opinions on them soon. Um, but we are gonna talk about 4.0 Ultra Boost because that's what I wanna talk about. So I did get my first pair of 4.0s the other day. This is what the box looks like. I will say that I do think they should maybe just switch the box up at this point because, I don't know, just be easier to identify which one is which. But um, the name of the colorway, I've heard two different colorways. I've heard, or two different names. I've heard Dark Mocha and I've heard Black and Raw Gold. I don't know technically what the official name is. Regardless, this is what the shoe looks like. So, 
Real quick with the Ultra Boost, so same review as really every other Ultra Boost uh, for me. There's a few minor things that I'll talk about. One thing about 4.0 that we've seen a lot in 3.0 is this 3D printed heel cup, which I want to kind of add. I think with there being this kind of texture to the heel cup, I think it maybe gets scratched up less or looks scratched up less, but I don't have any like real concrete evidence. I just, I'm not noticing it as, as much on these pairs as I do the other pairs, but I'm sure they still get scuffy. All right, so let's go into the color real quick. So this one is this sort of goldish mocha, I guess, a very light mocha. Basically just black peppered in. There's really no other color. It's just the mocha and the black. So two-tone color and then the black pretty much changes in its heaviness and its weight throughout so you can kind of see that strip that cuts through the toe box just because there's more black stitched in. So it sort of makes a little bit of a different pattern as you're looking at it. It's almost reminiscent of like the 2.0 in a way too. This is very hybrid this shoe. So all right so the color again so black laces, regular TPU cage, Again, we talked about the heel cup being a little bit different. Um, all silver Ultra Boost branding, 3D printed heel cup, PK all the way through, pattern changes on the tongue a little bit, changes towards the back with the more square shaped pattern, you know, that you see on the toe. And then there is a different insole. It looks like that. This is a size 12 and a half, so I took the insole out. Basically perfect at 12 and a half. I still probably would prefer my true size 13, um, which I will get plenty of 4.0s and 13, but for this one, 12 and a half just to get them, and they're also fine. Just like every other model is just fine for me. But I do think that the upper on this, the main difference that I'm noticing is the feel of it. It's very much more textile feeling to a point almost like burlap sack feeling, which it's not that rough or anything, but it's just got a much more... And the only word I can come up with is just textile feeling. It just has this sort of woven, um, yeah, I don't even know how to describe it, but just the way this PK feels, it's, it seems just as stretchy, but it's just got a different feeling to it, to the touch, like much more coarse. As far as fit goes, I think they're pretty much the same. Some people have said differently, like some people are saying these, they feel like more like 1.0. This doesn't feel as deep as most of the 3.0 colorways. So I feel like the only thing I've noticed, and I've been racking my brain over it, honestly, because I don't want to just like pretend there's a difference if there's not a difference. You know, I want to know, and there's really no information. Adidas isn't really great at sharing uh, technical aspects of things and then things change. That may be because things haven't really changed. You know, it's the whole don't, it's not broken, don't fix it thing. But the one thing that I have noticed, or at least I think I noticed, I could just be high, is the angle of the the toe, like this feels like it slopes just a little bit more to me. So I could be tripping, but for me, it feels like from the 3.0, here's how I think it went down. 1.0 being the first and then the patterning. And then by the time they got to the 3.0, they were doing digital mapping on the upper. And then I think this, if it was like a sculpture, is even more refined. In the top, you know, it's just like, they made a couple little cuts and angles and little like slight things here and there. But I have no confirmation of that. That's just for me staring at it, wearing it, wearing it compared to other models and just sitting there and feeling it and seeing if there's any difference. But it is very slight. I'm not gonna sit here and try to be like, no. The new Ultra Boost 4.0, it's totally different the way it hugs your foot. It's so different, bro. It's not, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's not. But I do feel like there may be some slight little changes here and there, but, but very slight. I wanna reiterate, very slight. And then there's this sort of reddish orange torsion system, black continental sole. And then, of course, white boost. I don't know, you guys can look for yourself. I don't know if you see if there's any kind of difference in angle there. It just, to me, it seems like this cuts in a little bit and this is a little flatter, if that makes any any sense. I, again, I really might not be making any sense. Smoke a lot of weed, so who knows. It's like each one foreshadows the other one somewhat, you know, to, to me, again, like these patterns started to come up off the shoe a little bit on the 3.0. And now it's a full line. You know, it's like they just sort of evolved the pattern. Whether they think that's a good thing or bad thing, it's still an involvement. And then this is your 1.0, of course. So regular. This is people, most people's favorite. Got like the grandma quilted pattern. Triple black may have not been the best option for showing you that. Here you go. So yeah, so that's your uh, pattern for the 1.0. And then again, if you hold that, you, know, you can see the slight similarities in the toe box. And then you can really kind of see the marriage of both, I feel like, if you look, if you're looking at it. I mean, I don't know, maybe I have an imagination. 
And then the 2.0 doesn't really look like it fits in that well, but there's little slight things like there's the 1.0 pattern that's still present here. And then sort of the gradient as it goes to the outside toe box. Whereas you kind of like very slightly see a slight gradient, at least gradient in the pattern. Um, they're very slight and they basically have to be a fucking like there's a piece of cotton here. Uh, you basically have to be a shoe nerd to care at all, really. So all of them together, this could be just being used for a thumbnail. But main question is, do I like the Ultra Boost 4.0? And I do, I absolutely do. I don't have a problem with any of the models. It's not gonna just change for me, like all of a sudden, because again, I've gone through it a hundred times. I like the comfort. But I don't think you're gonna have to get every model. I mean, we have to remember that a couple of years ago, Boost was just hard to find. So you, I bought every single model just because it's like, oh, there's another Boost shoe. There was not a lot of them. And obviously now it's grown to the point where there's just, you know, a lot of Boost shoes. So you can decide you know be very picky about which ones you do and do not want to cop so are every single ultra boost 4.0 must cop absolutely not is this colorway even a must cop not really you know i mean if you like this colorway it's super cool it's really nice hey you know it's a nice earth tone going for the rest of fall going into winter are we even in winter yet technically right we're in winter yeah it's december oh yeah we had time change right all right never mind you just have to pick the colors you like you know what i'm saying and if you're not into 4.0 a lot of people are going back and just getting the old pairs they missed out on so I mean, it's totally up to you, but there's no, there's no denying that the Ultra Boost is, if not the most comfortable shoe in the world, one of. Um, shoes get worn. Not everybody in the world like hoard, hoard shoes. And you know, the next season, they obviously need to do new things. So, dude, and just so everybody knows, this is where Omar is during this review. <sighs> He's just straight chilling up beside me. Help me review shoes. We're the best. Um, but yeah, so it's really just comes down to personal taste. I mean, if you like Ultra Boost and you like this pattern and it doesn't like drive you crazy, then there will be plenty of colors for you to pick from. There'll be plenty of you for you to pass on. Not everyone necessarily needs the Core Black 4.0, but some people only wear black and white shoes and they pick that shoe up. Plenty of colors to choose from. There's plenty of stuff coming. I really don't know which ones I will cop and won't cop, but I'm sure there will be, uh, more than enough. Ultra Boost 4.0, those are my thoughts. Good luck tomorrow with the Beluga restock. Um, I believe everybody's starting to get their shipments from us. I know a bunch of stuff has already gotten delivered. We have some new stuff coming this weekend for you. Continuing with the AI drop and then um, yeah, getting ready for New York City and just living that life. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. And I get a lot of shoes tomorrow or at least the Kith mids, the CS1 from Complex Con. Can't remember anything else right now. I'm sure there's something else. We'll see.